I don't like to put up a lot of shooting videos. Uh, I always feel a little bad because there's a lot of people who are subscribed for other reasons. So I try to keep them down a bit. But on a day like today, where I got perfectly calm, nice morning, it's kind of nice to do some shooting. And now I talked about this, this 39A the other day, and I've been playing around today with some, uh, they're the CCI, but they're the standard velocity. You know, they're actually a target ammunition, but I happen to have a box of them, so I'm playing around with them. And you can hear the difference. Uh, you know, with a gap at 100 yards of time between a, the high velocity and the standard velocity is quite noticeable. But one of the things I wanted to do today was to take this gun out. I, I have shown it once or twice before, but it, it doesn't come up often because it's one of the things that people really aren't familiar with. This is a, like this was the longest production run. This is probably the shortest production run. It's an 1894 Model M. And they only made them for three years. And I happened to look into one you know, this was back in the 80s. Uh, I had been in a Kmart, and they had one on the rack, and it was listed as a 22. Not 22 Magnum, just as a 22. And I, I, <laughs> I asked him, well, you know, because the price was real reasonable. Uh, I think it was like $200. But... I thought, well, man, I, I, you know, if that's what they're going to sell it for. So I, I asked to be sure, is this actually the price on the gun? Yep. But like I said, it didn't show that it was a 22 Magnum. But they didn't make many of them. I think a total of 12,000 over the three-year time. And so a lot of people don't know what they are, uh, especially at that time they didn't. But there's a quite a difference between a 22 Magnum and a regular 22 log rifle. Um, huge difference, really. Uh, quite a costly ammunition to shoot, too. But pretty nice. You know, now everything went with that 17, so you don't see a lot of 22 Magnum anymore. But the ammunition is still available. But they're an offbeat sort of gun for a Marlin. You know, it's an 1894, and actually, if you look, uh, like in Wikipedia, they don't even list an 1894M. You know, there, there just wasn't that many made. It's one of the rarest of the Marlins. And, you know, they command a pretty good price now. But if you should ever run across one by accident, you'd have to keep that in mind. But it says 1894M right on the barrel. You know, nice gun. Um, I bought it when I was trapping, so I've kind of beat it up a lot. Well, not a lot, but like this always bugged me. There's a scratch right here from, I had an old Willie's and had a bad spring in the seat, and, and that was right out of the seat spring, gouge drop. But, you know, the furniture is probably the same as a lot of the other 1894s, but that's one thing about these. Uh, a lot of the parts aren't the same. They aren't the same as the 22, and they aren't the same as, as the bigger 1894s. They're kind of a, an odd in-between gun. But, uh, like I said, I've used uh, the crap out of this. I mean, I've drug it around on a horse and a dog sled. And it's been everywhere. And it's a good gun. 
And well, I got it, but at the time, you know, I was one of them again where you buy it and quick get out the door before somebody comes to the census because at that time, I think they were listing for something like $400 and here they had it priced at 200 But, you know, what do the people in Kmart know, you know, in their, their gun department? If they even sell guns anymore, I don't know. I haven't been in the Kmart for so long. But, nice gun. But I thought I'd take it out today because I want to do a, a real thorough cleaning on it. Though, this is tough shooting because I'm going right to the sun. But, they got a lot more snap than a regular 22. You know, there's, there's no mistake in them. And they're, well, I have run across hollow points, but these are full metal jacket. But, like I say, nice gun, uh, but I know when I've shown it before, I've had people say, are you sure? <laughs> you know, because uh, they can't find a listing for them. Though I think they do come up on Gunbroker once in a while. But, I mean, people are always looking for them to kind of fill out a collection because they are unusual. Hard time, hard time seeing. But I can't pass up this nice little morning. Nice gun. At the time, I actually had a an 1894 in the 44 Magnum too. But I parted with that gun, and that's one of them few ones that I have ever parted with. Uh, it was a good gun, though. I had a little trouble getting decent ammunition that would feed through that. At that time, you know, there wasn't all this cowboy stuff. So you're generally shooting ammunition made for a pistol and it would tend to jam. Unless you work your lever really hard. But every time I let somebody else shoot it, it always came back jabbed up. So I parted with that one. But this is what I'll hang on to. You know, I'm sure there'll get to be a point where you can't find 22 Magnum anymore. But for now, it's a good gun. But now you can listen to the difference between that and the standard velocity 22. <laughs> yeah. There's, there's a gap in there. But it's, I, I like this gun, but I know at the time when I was looking, it was a choice between this and this, you know, and I got such a good deal on that, I couldn't pass that up. You know what I was thinking, ooh, Magnum. Uh, little realizing that they were going to be extremely rare. But they're out there. So if you should ever accidentally run across one,
kind of a smart thing to buy. But I got the feeling actually any of them Marlins, the old ones, are a smart buy. They're only going to get to be more valuable over time.